So we have seen plenty of examples of register operands already in all laboratories and homework assignments that we had uh, already this far. Just remember once again that 32-bit uh, registers such as EAX uh, contain uh, addressable areas of themselves which are parts of, uh, of these registers and uh, uh, the 16-bit part here is called AX, uh, and then uh, two of its parts are called AH and AL. So it's like a high bit and low bit of AX. I'm sorry, byte, right? So this is this is byte and this is byte. High byte and low byte of uh, register AX, which is 16-bit size. And so these are the bit ranges of uh, addressable uh, areas of this register. And uh, very similarly, we have register EBX, EDX, ECX uh, as well. Immediate operands we also have discussed quite a bit. They're very simple. They're just simply values stored directly inside the instruction op codes. And uh, so we've seen plenty of examples of these already. Uh, the next uh, in, in very interesting instruction that we need to um, that we need to um, uh, talk about uh, is um, load effective address. So the load effective address has to do something what we just discussed with offset. Let's modify this example just tiny bit, a little bit more. And basically what what I'm about to do is that I'm going to say that okay I have register EBX and let me load this only with the offset of the table and then I will use uh, like index move um, uh, EDI for instance destination uh, index and initialize EDI with zero and then um, when uh, when when I will do my update, what I would like to do is just basically use EBX plus EDI, right? So EBX, which is which now contains the address of the table, okay? Plus EDI, which is an index, and of course I want to scale it by uh, the type of the table, which is the type of the table element, which is basically four. This is just like four, okay? But uh, it's it, it's showing that this is uh, the size of element every element in our table okay so let's see if this works right so now instead of using just one address with some kind of specific location inside the table now we have combination of ebx plus edi we continue to manipulate addresses okay so let's build this and you see that this builds just fine. Okay, uh, but um, just one interesting thing is that if we rewrite it yet one more time, okay, just the same example, and we rewrite it one more time, and uh, actually let's keep the table, uh, uh, table visible, right? So this is our table, and this is how it's allocated inside our data segment, okay? Right, so so the the third time I would like to update this with an idea uh, that I would like to uh, load um, uh, EBX with this information, basically information from the two registers. So this becomes uh, a uh, more difficult proposition because I mean if, if I just try this right. Uh, try something like that and then by the way a switch back to the uh, using just a single register right here to make an update basically I say I know that I have my address and I want to be able to continue using offset to to compute everything store it in the register and just use this register to access my memory okay so with something like this uh, it just tells us invalid use of register. Well, basically, when we have these more com more than sta uh, more than static um, uh, assembly time 
uh, label information in the expression offset uh, uh, operator doesn't work it works only with known offsets in here offset cannot deal with registers so what we need to change to is we need there is a special instruction called lea lea okay load effective address basically this special instruction it's not the move instruction it's a special instruction which tells uh, that okay give me your address expression and i will compute the correct address for you at runtime not at not at uh, assembly time but at runtime load effective address in fact effective address stands for physical address the actual address in memory but uh, there are some limitations in fact uh, load effective address uh, cannot uh, work with uh, two of these registers in combination like this so we need to uh, make an adjustment for instance what we could do is just switch over to the table nota uh, notation like this okay so that is still using the register and uh, now load effective address should be able to work fine so let's find out um, uh, build our solution and it builds fine now uh, of course um, I think that now that we are using EDI in this computation correctly it would be to move this instruction to the top right because we want to initialize EDI before uh, before we compute our address so let's just uh, find out uh, if uh, what we end up with in EBX is the same after using load effective address as the EBX that we've used with uh, simply using offset operator uh, for the table in our data segment. So let's just find out that EBX here and EBX right here are the same values. Okay, so let's uh, build this one more time. Okay, and uh, uh, we can start it by pressing F11 stepping uh, into the code I will just clear okay um, I guess uh, clear all and uh, so let's uh, try this um, I simply press F10 to step through the program now that uh, EBX is loaded let's step over this one EBX right so EBX value is like this okay and we can say question mark address of our table is this value nine seven four zero 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 and I keep stepping uh, by pressing um, F10 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 and now load effective address does not change the register which means that um, uh, if you're using uh, one of the registers and you're trying to do the do the combination computation of a runtime value um, for a location of your variable uh, there is this uh, additional instruction that can do the work for you so this demonstrates uh, how it works so i would encourage you to uh, read all of the uh, uh, information related to this instruction and of course it's related to offset and uh, uh, there is more information about a load effective address and uh, it's just comparison between the load effective address and uh, offset operators so these are the possibilities and these are the examples of uh, what 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 can be done in terms of this using the syntax um, of this instruction and remember whenever you cannot use move instruction to load the address into the register that's an indication that you need to use the load effective address instruction so more of examples of load effective address when we talk about procedure parameters and when we discuss um, local variables stored on the stack